Stone is the 22-year-old from Lanark, Oli McRae, partnered by Derek Ringer, who claims 60 points from three victories so far this year, to Russell Brooks' single run onto the victory roster. As McRae and Ringer enjoy the limelight in Belfast, let's take a look back at the opening round of the championship that Portland International Rally run through the slippery North Yorkshire Forest in February. that high-speed spin on April Fool's Day, Colin McRae charged on to a second victory, again followed home by the Sierra Codworth of Russell Brooks. Thank you, it's okay. Got about four miles to go in five lengths, plus 100. And business as usual, back in the silver room as they return to yet another championship 20 points. But then into the Forest of Wales for May with the Fram Wales International Rally and McRae's winning streak came to a spectacular end. Luckily McRae and Ringer escaped injury but with the Subaru out of the event it was Russell Brooks and Neil Wilson in the Ford Sierra Cosworth 4x4 who headed the field home to claim victory and a 20 point maximum. 40 points to McRae, 20 points to Russell Brooks. Russell Brooks was charging hard again on the Scottish Rally, but Colin McRae was determined not to be beaten on home ground. An inspired drive saw Colin following Father Jimmy's wheel tracks, claiming victory on their home Scottish Rally. So there you see the championship positions after four rounds of the Shell Open Rally Championship. Colin McRae 60 points, Russell Brooks 50, Nika Solberg from Finland is the Group N Mitsubishi Gallant, 26 points, and the flag falls as Colin McRae and the Subaru head out of the city of Belfast and onto the first stages of the Ulster Rally at the Rallycross Circuit at Nuts Corner. Starting from number two, the Sierra Cosworth of Russell Brooks and Neil Wilson also takes to the road, while at number three, Bertie Fisher and Rory Kennedy in the Tough Max Sierra really are racing on home ground. Start of the second day's action will take place on Saturday from Bertie's own workshops at Ballymallard. So, on to the start of special stage one. The flag is lifted and it's Colin McRae into action with the number one Subaru Legacy. Four-wheel drive, that distinctive exhaust note from the turbocharged platform boxer engine. Colin McRae weaves his way around the rallycross circuit at Nuts Corner. Smooth tarmac, slick tyres, quite a lot of suspension travel to take account of the bumps and humps on the lanes later, and that means you get some spectacular lifting of rear wheels. But out of the stage, Colin McRae clocks a time of 56 seconds, but Russell Brooks, despite jumping out of second gear in the stage, Beats McRae's time, 55 seconds, one second quicker, so an initial lead to Russell Brooks. Third fastest racing on home ground, Bertie Fisher, the tough Mac car being cheered on by the crowds at Nuts Corner. Number three car, number three position, 58 seconds to complete the stage. And a 
Steve Deppering, star for Kenny McKinstry, the Group N Ford Sierra Sapphire four-wheel drive, production-based brakes, suspension and transmission components, still with almost 300 brake horsepower, setting a one-minute time around the nuts corner, stage one. Also running in Group N production-based saloon is the Mitsubishi Gallant VR4 of Mika sold over Finland, running third in the Open Rally Championship at the moment, Four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer, but an understeer problem for Soldo, losing him time on this the opening very short special stage. Running with two-wheel drive is Richard Spies in the Group A Ford Sierra Sapphire, hoping that the reliability of the two-wheel drive system may well be better than the four-wheel drive on the twists and turns and humps of the Ulster Lane. Another Group N Ford Sierra Cosworth, David Maslin. Already suffering problems with brake pedals and the tyres locking up under hard braking on the number 7 Ford Sierra Sapphire. Another young Scott following in the same wheel tracks as Colin McRae is Robbie Head, also from McRae's hometown of Lyon in Scotland. 22 year old Robbie Head really impressed the field with the wheel of a front wheel drive Honda Civic last year. Now he's got his chance for the big time with the Group N 4x4 Sierra Sapphire. And already, Robbie Head making his mark. Equal fastest Group N car on the first stage, but pleasing the crowd of the Loftite BMW of Mike River and Steve Turvey running in ninth place. to third fastest time in the Group A overall category on this, the opening stage, is the Irish pair of Bill Connolly and James O'Brien in the number 10 BMW M3 car prepared by ProDrive at Banbury in Oxfordshire, but the Irish pair experts on the lanes of the Ulster Rally. And it's out onto those lanes now, out into County Antrim, around Ballymena, and it's Colin McRae giving the Subaru legacy its head. Five successive fastest times on the first five stages gives Colin McRae a 30 second lead over the Ford Sierra Sapphire of Russell Brooks. Brooks holding on to second despite starting to feel unwell with a stomach bug, but the Ulster Rally is hard on both cars and their drivers. In third place, Bertie Fisher was due to require a gearbox change at the end of special stage five, but already he is delighted to be holding on to third place just one second behind Russell Brooks. In fact, the pace of the top three was so great that the fourth place car, the leader of Group N, Kenny McIntyre, had already dropped a minute on the three front runners. He's already fighting a hard battle to stay ahead of Robbie Head in the second of the Group N cars. No turbocharger on this car, but he's making up in agility for what the car may lack in straight line power. Halfway through the opening day's action and in sixth place it's still Robbie Head, 40 seconds behind the Group N leader Kenny McKinstry, but charging hard. This is the man who won Group N on the Scottish Rally in only his first ever major outing in the Ford Sierra 4x4. The Finetti driver Bob Bowden, the Group N Sierra Cosworth three-door car, rear-wheel drive, something approaching 300 brake horsepower being put through those two rear tires makes the Ulster Rally very exciting indeed, as it is for the Belfast driver Richard Smith. He suffered from a front puncture in the early stages and then found that the car was wandering on the straights. That was later put down to being a rear suspension problem and they were hoping to get the car sorted at the service on Friday night. Dominating the smaller cars is Alison McRae, younger brother of Colin. He's been co-driven by David Senior. They're heading the Vauxhall Nova in class A6. 1600cc Nova GTs. They're capable of almost 120 miles an hour on some of the longer straights and it's good enough to get McRae up to 11th place overall. So now the topography and the scenery alters as the rally moves from County Antrim and Ballymena down to County Armagh for Russell Brooks. At the head of the field, it's still the turbocharged Flat 4 Subaru Legacy of 
Oliver Gray. But Gray suffering only one minor problem, a soft brake pedal which was remedied by changing a track brake disc at the Logan service area. No problems at all in second place for Russell Brooks. Russell was joking at Logan that this was only going to be a warm-up for the long stages on Saturday. Russell Brooks and Neil Wilson charging hard, making up their overall point deficit, they hope, in the Shell Open Rally Championship. But charging equally hard, Bernie Fisher, despite having a problem with the brakes locking up on the Sierra 4x4, Fisher was taking time out of Brooks as the cars made their way back to Belfast. Sapphire Cross was blocking up under hard braking. The other reason 